All right, fifth grade. So welcome to the last day of win time with doing these maps here. Um, we are going to try to do our best to finish it today. If you do not have time to finish or if you're stuck or something doesn't make sense, don't worry. I will uh, set apart a little bit of time to um, talk about it when we uh, have our normal meet tomorrow on Thursday. Okay, so um, what we're going to try to do today are the last things, okay, of our street. Now remember, this is a 3D perspective map, okay, and this road that we made yesterday is we, um, this is going to be our street, right? So this is the street that you live on, okay, and then what we're going to do today is to draw a couple buildings on both sides depending on what is on your street, okay? So here is what we are going to do first. We're going to do our best. Now remember, this is an opportunity for us to look at maps in a different way. This is, of course, an art project too, okay? But the art issue, I'm not so in, um, concerned about how it looks at the end. I just want you to do your best, and then we'll see if this maybe turns out to be something really nice. But it's mostly practice for us to look at maps and to remember what totals are and how they look on a map and how to use them, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to just make a street here. I said I was going to do Achieve. What I realized is that Achieve is kind of a, a very complex building. It's got a lot of like edges and uh, different things to it. So what I'm going to do is just draw a normal neighborhood, okay? Now, for you, what you're going to do is draw um, your, your street, your house, your neighborhood, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a building that's going to be my house, okay? Now, the way that you draw a building, okay, first of all, what we need to do is you got to think for a second, okay? What we have so far is a street and a curb, okay? You may need on your street here a sidewalk. Maybe on your street, you have a sidewalk. So what we'll do is we will make another line here. If you do have a sidewalk, coming straight out of that other one, so the sidewalk. Now, mine's not going to look very good. Um, make sure if I get the same angle here. Mine's not going to look very good, and I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, the most important part are the buildings. Okay. So what I have so far, um, so we have a street at the curb. What I'm going to do with the sidewalk that I just made are put little lines. Right, because on our sidewalk, usually we have cracks on our sidewalks. And that will give it away that it is a sidewalk. Okay. Now, I am not an artist. You are not an artist, so we're not going to worry about the art. We're just going to keep on going. So, the next thing that I'm going to do now that I have my street, my sidewalk, my curb, I'm going to make a building. Okay, For me, this is going to be my home. So, the first thing that I want to do is... If you think about houses, and especially maybe your house, most houses are not right on the sidewalk, right? You don't open up your front door and then you're standing on the sidewalk. Usually there's a front yard. Um, sometimes there are um, driveways in your yard. Um, and so for me, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a front yard here. I'm going to move it back a little bit. Okay. And then the front of my house is going to be at the same angle. So you see how um, I did the road, I did the curb, I did the sidewalk, all at this angle right here. I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, my house. And I'm going to draw how long my house is. So it goes about right here. This will be the front side of my house right here. Okay, That will be the front side of my house. Okay, So wherever your house is, if you think that your house, you know, it's over on this side of your street. Maybe it's down a little bit further. Um, let's start with your house. Now, the way that we finish this building here um, is pretty easy. Um, we're just going to finish the building. You can add, you know, details to it once we kind of finish what it looks like. And so for me, mine's going to be kind of a basic house that I'm creating for myself. Yours may be a little bit more uh, detailed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take a straight line off of the bottom of the front of my house. And I'm going to draw how wide my house is. Okay. Make my house a little bit wider. All right. So, what we see right now is we see the front of my house, the side of my house. Okay. Now, we are actually not going to be able to see the back side of the house because obviously we're looking at the front and the side. When you look at a house, you can't see all four sides. You can only usually see one or two. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the corners of my house, and the corners will be these. There's three points of our house right now, right? There's this point, it's kind of the, the front, um, we'll call it the front right side, the front left side, and then the side 
of the house. Those are the points we have right now. Now, out of all three of these points, we are going to create uh, three straight lines that go straight up. So I'll start with kind of the middle one here that kind of makes the side wall. I'm going to go straight up. Okay. So there's one corner of my house. Now I'm going to draw other lines. I want them to go the exact same height as the one that I just drew. Right there. Okay. There is the corner to my, uh, or, the, or the, the, um, the side of the back of my house. And then let's continue here. We'll make the last line. I'm going to do it over here so I can see. Okay, and remember that I'm using a ruler here. You don't need to. You can use something else that's straight. It's a book, a notebook. Let's go right there. And then there is the beginning of my house. So what you're looking at is you are looking at the side.